Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing an empties video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I know that. I just got kind of bored with it and to be honest, a lot of skincare, uh, things like that, that I would normally show like face wipes, I just threw those away and I concentrated mostly on putting makeup in here. So this is what it's going, this is going to be a lot of makeup empties. And I'll try to do mini reviews if I can remember uh, because it's, it's been a long time and I don't know I just I don't know if I'm gonna continue to do this and I was holding on to this large bin here I got this uh, empties which is a little deformed uh, empties from Target in the kids section I think the brand is Circo but um, I, I got this knowing that I might not do empties forever and I could use this for something else which I kind of want to do with it and so yeah let's get started oh yeah before we do get started you know me i always have to talk to you guys at the beginning i have no makeup on i know you couldn't tell but i don't have any makeup on and i had my laser hair appointment today and i get so i finished with underarms but i did maintenance for that and i had a coupon for 25 dollars off and maintenance is about 30 something so i only paid seven dollars which was awesome i was so happy then i got my bikini which i think today was the last session and then uh, i do lip and chin which i'm so happy with i hadn't had to um pluck or tweeze or anything like that pluck and tweeze is the same thing i haven't had to tweeze in a very long time i did it yesterday just because i wanted them to just have clear skin to do it on and you're not supposed to wear when you get this done you're not supposed to wear any makeup skincare lotion so that's i don't have any of that stuff on yet and uh, i just have lip gloss on okay and the other thing is i got a massage yesterday and it was kind of painful i made the mistake of asking for hard and then i was like oh i'm strong i could take it and then when i got home i was in a lot of pain i couldn't fall asleep and don't be afraid to speak up and say that you don't like what they're doing or I mean just to have a lighter touch which I will do next time okay so let's get started uh, this is the NYX matte finish uh, setting spray and while I did like this I don't think I would get it again because it doesn't beat my elf wand which is cheaper so um, okay next <laughs> I have a uh, this is the City Color Flawless Finish Mineral Powder, and as you can tell, I'm all done with it. And I am going to save the poof that's in here just because I use those once in a while, and uh, so I like this a lot. Um, I don't go to Five Below that often, which is where City Colors is sold for me, so I probably won't. You know what I'm going to do is I have a basket in a basket in here, so I will if I, I'll take this out and then throw what I'm going to throw away here okay next is another powder this is the NYX stay matte but not flat it looks like this and I have used a powder in here so I won't save that one uh, but I love this powder I actually got a backup of it and I brought it with me to uh, Florida because I really like this powder it just it's has a really smooth finish and it gives me extra coverage which I like another powder this is the Clarence shine stopper and I actually use this more for uh, work I didn't love this powder uh, it did do a pretty good job of stopping the shine but I this was just a free sample that not a free sample but this is something that my mom had that she never used so I was like I'll use it up another powder this is the L'Oreal true match mineral powder it looks like this uh, this is another product that I use for uh, just to keep it in my purse and I liked it, but I wouldn't get it again. I like other powders more so Let's see, okay, there are whew, Okay, uh, next is the covergirl lash glass. I finished this one up a long time ago I mean these are products that I've just been saving for what I don't know uh, Love this. This is my number one mascara. I bought a backup of it and that's what I brought again with me to Florida just because I know it's gonna last it doesn't um, it doesn't transfer and it holds my curl which is so important to me of course after I use the eyelash curler uh, next are several foundations because that was just what I in my mind I have on my makeup vanity table uh, the clear clear cubes and I have all of the liquid 
and cream products in there so I know that those are stuff that I have to use up and except for lipsticks I only have my favorite lipsticks out there okay so this is a Dr. Hauschka foundation in 01 I wouldn't get this this is very much like a BB cream I wouldn't get this again just because it's not enough coverage for me and I've gotten a couple other BB creams uh, but I always have to go over with a concealer the BB cream is not enough Next is the Instant Clarence Instant Light Complexion Perfector, and this just gives a really nice glow to the skin. Uh, wouldn't get it again just because it's kind of expensive, and I have other products that are, you know, do basically the same thing. Several, several, two bottles of the L'Oreal True Match um, W5 and W3, which is usually my colors. Uh, I love this foundation. It's uh, one of my. It was one of my go-to's for a while. I found other foundations that I. Uh, like more but I did really love this when I had it at the time next is this is the Etude House collagen moistful BB cream now I feel like these are different than most BB creams this one had this one uh, have full coverage and I did like it. it's just that it's for something that's catered toward Asian skin I feel like this was a cool base and I need something that's more warm so I probably wouldn't get it again, but I do like the Etude House baby creams. Okay, I also finished a Makeup Forever HD foundation, and this is a really good foundation, but I have another one. Um, the My favorite foundation right now is the Kat Von D, just because it gives full coverage. You really don't need concealer, and it stays in humid weather, which is so important to me. So love that um love the cat boundy and then here is the maybelline superstay better skin foundation um you know this is um one of those that it was okay but i wouldn't get it again there there's several of those in my collection uh this is the elf flawless finish foundation um this was okay too uh not that great and then the nars I got the NARS matte found, sheer matte foundation, which again, not enough coverage, but I did try to use it up. And what ended up happening was I just, I tend to do this from time to time thinking I'm going to use them up more, but I mix a whole bunch of foundations together and that is not something that I recommend uh, doing just because I just ended up throwing a bunch of it away. I think this is one of the mixes. See? Yeah. It doesn't smell or anything, but it's just once you start doing that, it just you ruin everything. You might as well just throw them away. Okay, this is the Elf Creamy, wait, Elf Mattifying Cream Foundation. Sorry, it looks so ugly. Uh, but this was I didn't finish it. It was one of those that I just showed you in that mix. Uh, this was not this. It was so creamy that it would just slide off the face and it was not good. So I wouldn't recommend that. This is the Elizabeth Arden Perfect Beige Flawless Finish Sponge On Cream Makeup. And again, another mixture. This was never the right color for me and I was like, you know what, I, I really want to make this work but it didn't. And sometimes you have to, which is still a lesson that I'm trying to uh, learn is if something just doesn't work for you give it away or throw it away because it's just it's never gonna work for you uh, this is the Kirkland which I don't think they make anymore uh, the Kirkland concealer which I really like but it started to smell so I know it's time for it to go but this was really good they gave me three nice colors and they all worked so really like that too bad it got old why can't makeup last forever uh, this is the L'Oreal uh, True Match Powder, uh, I'm sorry, Compact Makeup, and I thought I would love this because I did like the foundation and the powder, uh, but this one, it just dr makes my skin look super dry, so I probably, you probably can't tell, but it's kind of like a powder, uh, cream to powder, but it just made my skin look super dry. Uh, this is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Uh, I like this product and um, the only reason I am getting rid of it is because it got dry really fast. So, oh, I shouldn't even say really fast. It just got dry because I have so many other uh, concealers. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick. Another product that I try to mix. Um, I did not like this. This when this made my skin also very dry even though it says moisturizing it was very very weird so 
of getting rid of that. Next is the paint, MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And yeah, this smells funny. And I try to use most of it up, but I just, um, there's only so much lid space that I have. So that's going. Oh, and I have to remember to keep that so I can get, um, you know, a lipstick for free. Uh, next is, this is the L'Oreal Mercier uh, Eye Base and we I did like this and I, I wish more companies would do mini sizes like this. I feel like it's more, um, you finish up the product faster and it would be cheaper obviously, but I did like this a lot. I would have repurchased it because my favorite primer is the uh, Urban Decay. And then this is the TimeWise Pore Minimizer. I got this as a sample. This was okay. I find it really hard to find products that actually make my pores look smaller. This wasn't really one of them. Okay, this is the Josie Marin Argon Enlightenment, Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil. Ooh, ugh, I can't talk today. Uh, this I got as, I was it a, one of those, uh, 500 point perks I think this just I don't know I felt like it didn't do anything for my skin and so I am going to say bye bye uh, this is the Gemma Kid Showstopper water resistant powder and I feel like I did a really good job of <laughs> hitting pan on it of course but I just I don't love this and I think it got old um, you know that when the powder gets like splotchy and um, it doesn't really pick up product, so I'm going to say goodbye to that because I have so many, so many uh, uh, bronzers. And then I did finish the NARS Laguna. See, it's a small size, and I did really finish this. So um, I did like it, and I have it in uh, NARS, I think Stephen Klein uh, collab that they did. So um, I do like that bronzer. Some lip products here. This is the Soothing Touch Grapefruit plus Vitamin C Lip Balm. And I don't think I finished it, but it just it looks kind of old and I didn't like the way it left my lips. And then this is the Dr. Hauschka Lip Care Stick. And I did finish that. This was really nice. Next is the Instant Clarence Instant Light Perfecting Touch. And it's one of those brush on ones and I did like this as well I think I have a backup of this here is the magic Lumi concealer L'Oreal and again another brush and um, I can't recall how I feel about this so I don't know but I wouldn't get it again because I don't remember much about it uh, this is the urban decay subversion lash primer I don't really like lash primers I don't like that I have to put something on and then put the mascara on so I probably wouldn't get this again I mean I wouldn't get it again this is another mascara the Guerlain Maxi Lash mini size I don't recall another Marc Jacobs um, mascara the Lash Lifter Gel Value Mascara I don't think either of these help my curls so no I wouldn't get it again this is the Total Intensity by Prestige Against All Odds Liquid Eyeliner. And I like the color, but this brush was very messy. So I wouldn't get that again. Next is the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. And what I did was this came with a ball. And I just, I saw somebody do this as well. And they just took off the top of it. And I did like this product. I would get it again. Let's see if there's any more me oh here's another one. I finished the wet and wild brow uh, pencil and while I wouldn't get this again it was okay and I like that it had a spoolie at the end and I think the oh sorry okay the last makeup product is the Maybelline line Express and I'm just not gonna finish this because I don't love it it transfers on me and I have so many black eyeliners. And the last thing in this basket that I'm going to share with you are these brush makeup brushes. And they either don't work for me or they they just, I don't, I 
had gotten like a million of these elf C brush C shape brushes and that is a style that I no longer like I, my favorite type of eye brushes are a blending brush or a crease brush um, or I use my fingers to lay down a product I don't use these anymore um, and just a couple brushes that I got off of eBay that are similar to Sigma and then I had at one point I thought um, brushes from Michaels would be a really great idea so I have several of those that I'm getting rid of and like uh, the real techniques I don't use this type of brush so I was like I'm not I have to do a better job of cleaning out my brushes because I do have a lot um, but these are I thought this was a pretty good job of throwing away some of the brushes that I have that I know I'm not going to use so that is that my empties video I know that was a lot of products and if I do continue this uh continue empties videos i'll try to uh be better about remembering if i uh like them or not or if they work for me sometimes when you just forget about things it's just out of sight out of mind this has been under my desk and i forgot about it so i hope you guys enjoyed it and are enjoying your summer and i'll talk to you soon bye